You know what I know as an investment advisor and private wealth manager that most people don't know? Structured notes are awesome, at least in my opinion. But the problem with structured notes is most people haven't heard about them and even fewer people understand how they work. We're gonna get into that right now. What is a structured note? For time purposes, you know, right now, I'm gonna simplify it, but I want you to understand just the basics of structured notes. So the, the foundation of a structured note is what's called a zero coupon bond. So essentially, it's a bond that doesn't have a coupon. A coupon is what a lot of people think about as interest on a bond, but the coupon is what a bond would pay. In this case, a zero coupon bond doesn't pay anything. So with a structured note, it sets a timeline. So one of the nice things about a structured note, if you're building one on your own, meaning you're going to an advisor that can build one, you probably can't go build one on your own, is you can pick a timeline. So if somebody came to me and said, Mike, I want a structured note with a three-year timeline, what I would do is I would start with a zero coupon bond with a three-year timeline or three-year maturity date. So the next thing that I'm gonna look for is what's called an underlying investment. It's called the underlier in a structured note. This is gonna be a security, something like an index, S&P 500, Dow Jones, NASDAQ. Maybe it's an individual stock. Maybe it's, maybe it's multiple stocks. It could be just about anything that you want it to be if it's a security that's traded uh, on the stock exchange. So in this example, let's say that we use the S&P 500. So you came to me, you said, Mike, I want a three year structured note. So we started with a zero coupon bond, that's three years. And then we use the S&P 500 as the underlier. Then the next thing I'm gonna ask you is, do you want this to be an income note or do you want it to be uh, a growth note? So you can choose income, meaning it's going to pay a coupon to you on an annual basis. Sometimes that's monthly, quarterly, or just annually. Or do you want it to be growth, meaning it's not paying you on an annual basis, but at the end of this three-year term we're talking about, it's going to pay you uh, a percentage of whatever the growth that it was. So we've got, again, uh, getting confusing now, right? Uh, we've got the um, zero coupon bond. We've got the underlier, the S&P and now we've got growth or income. So you can choose either one of those. Um, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna look at protection. How much protection do you want on this note? That's one of the things I really, really like about it. So whether it's an income note or whether it's a growth note, we can choose how much protection we want. So by protection, what I mean, and I'm simplifying this a little bit, but how much downside protection on the S&P do you want? Let's say you came to me and you said, Mike, um, I wanna make sure that uh, I can't lose principal as long as the S&P uh, isn't down more than 30%. So what I would do is I would uh, <clears throat> go out and I would set it up so that we had 30% downside protection on that note. Now that could come in different forms. I'm not gonna get into it, but let's simplify it and say 30% downside protection. So on the growth note, what that would mean is as long as at maturity three years out, the S&P wasn't more than 30% down, the client would get their principal investment back. Um, kind of neat. How do you invest in the S&P 500 and have downside protection with a guarantee of your principal back? Well, you could use a structured note. In this case, as long as it's not more than 30% down, you get your principal back. If it's a growth note, they're gonna look at it and they're gonna say, all right, same timeline, as long as um, the S&P isn't down more than 30%, at the end of that three year period, you still get your principal back. They come in different forms of protection, but I just wanted to show you. So it is possible to own the S&P with downside protection through a structured note. The next thing is, how do I get paid? Well, if it's an income note, under those parameters, in your prospectus for that note, you're gonna know exactly what the coupon is. So if it's income, it's going to tell you what the income is on a three-year structured note based on the S&P, 30% downside protection, here's your payout. So it's nice to know what that payout's going to be. Now, if it's a growth note, it's still gonna be the same, but you're gonna get participation. So typically the participation on a growth note is gonna be more than 100% of what the S&P does. So let's imagine a scenario where you have a three-year structured note it's a growth note with 30% downside protection on the S&P. And let's imagine a 
uh, scenario where you get 150% participation in the S&P 500's performance if you held it over that period of time. So again, if you're willing to hold it for three years, and it's a growth note, let's say that at the end of the three years, the S&P 500 is up 10% in this example. Well, if it's up 10% and you get 150% participation in the S&P, instead of making 10%, you would have made 15%. But if the S&P 500 had been down after that three years, uh, let's say 29%, well, because you had 30% downside protection, you would still get your principal back. So that's not an explanation of um, uh, everything that you need to know about structured notes, but it's just an idea. And what you need to make sure is if you want more information about structured notes, all you got to do is work with a firm that works with structured notes and then make sure you take a look at the prospectus and get all the details. Thank you for watching. Go to guardingyournestegg.com for your free and objective personal financial plan.